it's Amy from Amy Action and today I'm going to show you how to make slime. So you will need a bowl of any sort, a, like a spoon or a stick, but I find this is good because it's less sturdy so if you were using a plastic spoon it would go like that. Um, you will need some glue, this is quite empty because I've used some most of it so I've got a bit back up. Um, you will need Zenga makes fluffy slime, so you will need some shaving foam, but shake it before you use it. You would also this is optional, but it makes it more stretchy. You will need baby lotion. I've got mine from Johnson's, and also optional for the same reason. I've got this Nivea soft, like this little cream. Um, then you will also need, it's kind of optional, but you always need a little bit, some bicarbonate soda. So if you're not making fluffy slime, so you're not using shaving foam, you will need this. Um, so, and then you need an activator, and I'm using this, and it's from Superdrug. Sorry, it's a bit messy. Um, this is the box. So it's just called eye wash and bath solution and there are many others that work but it just has to have um, boric acid in it so yeah so that's what I am using today so let's get on to making so for so first you need to get your glue it's easier if you take the lid off and then this is going to be hard to get out, but then you need to pour some in, an amount depending on how much you want to make. So I'm going to make a big-ish batch, not really, but not too big, but you know, just big enough to play with. You can make any size, I think that's good, but make sure it stops dripping. And I have got that much, but that's for this pot, so it'll be different different pots. So then I like mixing it because it feels satisfying. You don't have to do that. Then I'm going to add my shaving foam, so shake it. And then I open and I've not got too much, you just need maybe about the same amount, same amount as um, glue, but then you mix that in. This pretty much makes your slime even bigger, but sometimes you add too much to it, so you have to try not to. So if at the end it doesn't work, maybe it's because you don't have glue, not enough activator, not about enough bicarbonate of soda, just different reasons like that. So I think that's nice and mixed in. So next, I am going to add some baby lotion, which I'm just gonna open it. You don't need too much, just a little bit. Like that's slightly, like hardly any. That little pink blob, and it's spreading, so you mix that in. Start thickening up, but don't go in with your hands yet, unless you're doing like a no hands challenge. But yeah, just because it'll get all over your hands and you won't have as much at the end. So that it just looks exactly the same, just you know. And then I'm gonna add like a tiny bit of this. So you only need like like that tiny bit. It's, you can hardly see it. But yeah, probably didn't see it then, but. So I'm just mixing it out. Mm -hmm, that's that. It goes slightly thinner when you add them, but it does make it stretchier. So that's that added, and then you're gonna add a tiny bit of bicarbonate soda if you've got this in. Otherwise, you need like a half a teaspoon or just 
a little pinch, two pinches. Yeah. It depends how big your batch of slime is. So I've just added it in. And then, and then I am going to add a colour. So I'm going to today, I'm going to make silver. And this is just paint from Pan Shop. Yeah, I didn't show this at the start because I didn't know if I was using it. And then you just add a little bit. And then you can always add more if you want more. But I'm going to mix that in. Yeah, so this is like a silver that you don't get the actual colour, you get like the glitter from it. Yeah, that's not enough. Some of the colours from the pound shop do add the colour, but most of them just add the glitter. So that's what it looks like. And then, that's what I want the colour to be. So then I'm going to grab my activator. And when you add it, it should come start coming away from the side a little bit. So I'll just add a little bit at a time. And then it will like start picking up from the side. That arm fell off from the foot. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bit more. and start coming together even more and then I'm just gonna add a bit more again so it's like as you can see it's starting to form yeah Gonna touch it so it's I don't think it needs much more activator if it does need any more activator you just need to keep mixing it and, and then you can go in with your hands but it's, it's not 100% ready yet it's like because there's still a little bit stuck to the bottom but mm. at the moment this is what it looks like I'm going to start kneading it and then I'll add in the bits at the bottom after but this method works and it's worked with for me since the start but yeah Still too liquidy. I'm just gonna mix with my finger now. I've taken my spoon out, but I'm gonna go get my spoon. Just put it on there, but it does get messy if you put your like if you get. You like put your fingers in the wrong time or yeah. so just keep mixing. in there now it's a little bit sticky try and get most of it out 
still not there yet, but. Definitely need some more activator. I don't use borax because this is safer and even if like this has borax in it which i'm not sure if it does or not it like still it's safe See, this is very stretchy but it's also not ready so yeah There's still a bit in the pot, but I'm just going to do a split for a minute. So I'll be back when I've finished kneading that. Okay, so I've finished kneading almost. It's not very sticky. The odd little bit, but this is my finished product. And I'm just making a slime swirl. So this is it, so I hope you enjoyed, please click like and subscribe, comment down any video ideas, 